Καλησπέρα σου. Γεια σα. Ε, το 2000 έχω κάνει μια χείριση καρδιά με τέσσερι αρτηρίε. Mm -hmm. Στην Αρώνη. Στη Μαρία. Έχω ένα χρόνο. <laughs> Μάλιστα. Έχω προστάτη μεγάλο. Το οποίο πήρα στο γιατρό μου και είχα μεγάλο αυτό. Ο προστάτη είναι μεγάλο και είχα και μεγάλο το, το PSA. Και ήταν, είχε, είχε φτάσει από 4 είχε φτάσει μέχρι 23 κατά διαστήματα. Τώρα έχω φτάσει πάλι στο 4. Μάλιστα. Και Σαν... παίρνω κάθε μέρα φλόμαξ, δύο κομμάτια φλόμαξ. Και ένα φιναστερίν. Το οποίο αυτά τα παίρνω μαζί κάθε μέρα το απόγευμα. Ναι, η ερώτησή σας ποια είναι. Η ερώτησή μου είναι ότι... Μου είπε ο γιατρό, επειδή έκανα, επειδή έκανα χείριση καρδιά, άμα κάνω χείριση προστάτη, μπορεί να μείνω στο χειρουργείο. Mm. Αυτό αντιθέτω. Πόσο ετών είστε. Ορίστε. Πόσο ετών είστε. 78. 78. 78. Λοιπόν, we have a, we have a 70, ένα λεπτό. Έχουμε έναν 78-year-old που είχε πριν heart surgery a couple of years ago. Now he has an enlarged prostate and at one time his PSA had gone as high as 23. Now it's back down to 4 and he's being told that if he attempts to have any type of prostate surgery that he won't make it through the procedure. Right, so it's important to also look at every patient and That's individually. That's what we wanted to discuss before. Age plays a role as to what type Absolutely of uh, right. what type Now, of uh, situation. I don't necessarily discriminate based on age. You may have a 73-year-old healthy patient that would be a candidate for surgery, or you may have a 55-year-old who has cardiac stent and he may not be good. For a 78-year-old, if you're doing well, and you're urinating well, um, I don't think you need any surgery. We can talk about either watching your PSA on regular basis or radiation, which is mostly for older patients. Surgery is for patients that are younger, that have 20 to 30 years plus ahead, and we're able to take care of them. One of the questions that comes up about Avidart, and Peter, it's important for you to even know this, is that Avidart and Proscar, which a lot of uh, listeners are mm -hmm. calling in, can reduce the PSA to half of what it is. So if you... With your Avodart? That's right. So if your PSA, let's say, is four. I, ta I take Avodart. Okay, so perfect example. If you take Avodart and your PSA, let's say you check it now after being on Avodart for a few months and it's 1.5, that means in reality your PSA is three because Avodart and Proscar 50%, eh? by 50%. And that's a very important message. If you have been on Proscar or Avodart, that brings your PSA to half of what it is, so you always double that. And that's how we know exactly what your PSA is. Αυτό που εξήγησε ο γιατρός είναι ότι αφού είσαστε 78 ετών, ότι δεν είναι κάτι... Ναι, ναι. Για πέσω, γιατί δεν σας ακούω καλά. Αυτό που είπε ο γιατρό είναι επειδή είσαστε 78 ετών, ότι, δε, ότι, ότι είναι κάτι πιο επικίνδυνο για εσά να κάνετε μια εγχείρηση σε αυτή την ηλικία, αλλά τη στιγμή που το PSA σα έχει φτάσει στα 4, ότι να συνεχίσετε να κάνετε τι οδηγίε που σα έχει δώσει ο γιατρό σα. Μάλιστα. Εντάξει. Okay, ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ευχαριστούμε για μια ιδιαίτερη σα. Καλύπτα. Καλησπέρα. Σα ακούμε. Ε, το όνομά μου είναι Μιχάλη. Ναι, Μιχάλη. I have a question. Uh... Uh, does the PSA increase with age? Yes, as we get older. My PSA is about seven, eight. <coughs> How old are you? And what is 80, 81st, 81? Uh, how old are you? Uh, what's the significance of free PSA? Okay, so the answer to your first question is as we get older, the PSA will continue to go up. And also, the risk of having prostate cancer increases. So if you take every 80-year-old 80, 80 gentleman that comes through the door and you biopsy them, about half of, half of them, or more than half, would have prostate cancer. The question is, in 81-year-old, is that prostate cancer significant, or is it going to be affecting him, or is it the heart or lungs are going to affect him? And most 80 years old, we're going to continue to watch the PSA. So the significance of elevated PSA in an 80-year-old gentleman is not as important as a 40 or 50 year old. The other uh, question that you asked about the percent free, uh, that's another branch of PSA that we use to distinguish between prostate cancer and enlarged prostate. So when the PSA is elevated, we normally get 
the percent free. And if that is a low number, it's pointing more toward the prostate cancer. And if it's higher, it's pointing more toward an enlarged prostate. As it did in my case, I had a 2.5% uh, percentage free PSA, exactly which right. was the clear, the clear factor for me about it being prostate cancer. That's right. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.